Hello, salam alaikum and welcome to this video. I have been wanting to make this video for quite a while and actually this is my second time doing it because I filmed it all once and I didn't like it. So here goes round two, bismillah. So what I wanted to do was to share with you the hijabs that I've been really liking over the last few months and also the accessories. Because if you have followed me on here or on Instagram over the last year, you'll know that my hijab journey has come on quite a long way because basically you know last Ramadan I wasn't wearing hijab um, I did have the intention to want to wear hijab more during last Ramadan I did experiment with some different scarves I experimented with turban which in the end I didn't really like or at least how I had it then um, and then after that I didn't really wear it that much and it wasn't until the end of last summer which was around the time that I moved to Manchester and um, I also got married I did my nikah um, that I did start wearing hijab a lot more because for me that was important I wanted to move to Manchester and for people to see me for the first time in hijab I think that it is very hard when you transition from not wearing hijab into it so I kind of felt like right this is like a fresh start let's wear it and you know since then I have been trialing lots of different styles or maybe not styles I tend to just always do this style but different materials different colors and you know alhamdulillah because I do share so much online you know I have worked with some hijab brands um, through gifted people have sent me some gifted scarves um, I've worked with big companies like Duck, which has been amazing, and I'm going to feature quite a, bit, a few of theirs in this video, although nothing in this is sponsored. This is purely like my trial and error testing over the last few months that I wanted to share with you because you know, it isn't easy to go out and buy all of these new hijabs. It definitely costs a lot of money. So I kind of, yeah, just want to kind of give you my experience so that maybe it can save you buying um, extra items that you don't need. Or I've actually bought quite a few like cheap items that just didn't really work for me. Um, so hopefully I can save you that on that as well. So let's get into it. We're going to do accessories first. So although this isn't going to be like a hijab tutorial video, um, I feel like even I'm not quite there <laughs> with giving you a tutorial tutorial on how I do my hijab I'm going to show you like what I have been using and again like a trial and error because it has just been such a learning process for me so first off with the bun I find that a bun is super super helpful and to be honest the bigger the bun the better and there are some like conflicting opinions on a big bun but honestly all of that aside you know if you don't have a bun basically you know you want your scarf to sit here on your head and if you don't have a bun and it just falls straight down, then the law of gravity, gravity <laughs> means that it pulls down. Of course, your scarf is going to slip back because it's just being pulled straight down at the back. So when I have a good sized bun like this, obviously, as you can see, it, the scarf actually has something to sit on and therefore it doesn't pull down at the back. So if you are a new wearing hijabi and having trouble um, with it slipping back, then definitely, you know, have a look like what are you doing with the back and the bun? So for me, I did just start off using a basic hairband to be honest um, but then I did get a scrunchie like this and this scrunchie is from Holt Hijab I'm going to link them all as much as I can below um, this is just one of their normal jersey scrunchies because I did film like maybe if I'm wearing my hair in a bun for longer periods you know it's nice to have a kind of material that's going to protect your hair um, I also got one in black and then this kind of tan color you definitely don't need two to be honest unless you're wearing them like you know gosh all day day in day out um, one is perfectly enough I barely even use this one that gives me a little bit of volume and this I use this very much day to day this one is the poof from duck and as you can see this is very very poofy I actually have a second one in right now again you don't need to um, they just sent me two because I'm working with them yeah one is enough and even with the colors I kind of thought like yeah maybe I need two colored um, scrunchies but you don't because even under your under cap, you can never see the color scrunchie, so it doesn't really matter at all. Um, but this is really, really amazing for volume. As you can see, this is what I've got in right now. I don't have like particularly overly, you know, long, long hair. Um, but again, it gives me that nice volume. It really helps the um, scarf sit on it. But I don't really wear this. I wouldn't wear this just to do like the school run or necessarily just to pop to the shops, you know, then I would just put this in because this is a little bit comfier. Um, this can sometimes pull back a little bit and it does take some getting used to because it is such a big band. And that's also something I want to touch on as well because, you know, when I first started to wear hijab, actually this happened to me when I was still in Istanbul. Um, I 
bought like a scrunchie, a volumizing scrunchie when I was in Istanbul and it gave me a headache as soon as I wore it. And I remember like walking around the city and my head was absolutely killing me. And I knew it was because of this scrunchie. So if you are new to hijab, you know, definitely take your time. Like if you go in for like a volumizing scrunchie like this and it gives you a headache, you know, firstly, don't like completely disregard it. Like just know that it is just because it's the first time. So maybe just wear it slowly, you know, wear like another scrunchie, a little bit something that's a bit lighter like this, um, you know, in between. And just, you just have to work yourself up for it. You know, for me, I never used to put my hair up in a bun at all. Um, I haven't done that since I was like a child. <laughs> so to put suddenly a scrunchie in a bun, it does take some getting used to. Now under caps, um, which is this, um, this is something that at first I wasn't keen on wearing when I started wearing hijab this time last year. It took me quite a few months to actually start wearing it because I just felt that um, when I had it like here on my hairline plus a hijab on top, I just felt like I didn't look like myself. You know, especially as a revert Muslim where you're not used to being around women in hijab, you know, you it's very, very different. And to see yourself in hijab is very different. And to see yourself without any hair showing is very, very different. And that can cause, you know, for some people these like identity crisis and all this kind of thing. And, you know, for me, that's not what becoming Muslim is about. I didn't want to, you know, not feel like myself. So I definitely, again, it is a process. But the idea that I had against wearing a underscarf didn't work for me because if you don't wear an underscarf, the hijab just doesn't stay on. It is so hard to keep a hijab on without an underscarf. Tipped materials like this, this jersey, and I'm gonna go into my favorite materials and what I use them for. Probably gonna be a long video, I think, so I hope that you are sitting tight and comfy. <laughs> Even with material like this, I just got on with an undercap so much more. And so it also took me a lot of trial and error to find a good undercap. Now again, if you've been following me for a while on Instagram, you may remember that I raved about a um, undercap that I got from Primark. So this is it. It just kind of crosses over at the middle there, ties back, a really nice color, fully kind of covering off the head and the bun. Um, and I got this for about three pounds. And I honestly used this all last year. And between that time, I was also trying to buy some other kind of basically like undercaps like this online. And I bought a few different ones. I actually went through all my hijabs the other day and I'm actually gonna get rid of these basically as soon as I finish this video because they are awful, but I wanted to keep them for the purpose of this video. <laughs> So I went online, places like Etsy and just Amazon, where it's just quick delivery. Um, and I bought some tubes. So I bought this tube and I got, um, I think I have, oh yeah, this is also just another tube. And then this um, cap as well. And I guess why I'm saying this is because these tubes for me were just absolutely rubbish because you know, when you've got a bun here as well, you want something that's gonna support the bun and the tube just doesn't support the bun at all. I just felt that they slipped back all the time. And then this one as well, um, as you can see, it's actually quite small and this is a whole gap at the back and actually it doesn't even cover my bun. My bun sits in this one. And I actually, I was thinking about this earlier, I wore this out for dinner with a friend. Um, well, a couple, I went out with my husband and our friends. Luckily they were very aware of my new hijab journey <laughs> because I wore this and throughout the period of dinner and then us going for a little bit of a walk, this under cap slipped further and further and further back and just before we got back to the car, I literally said to my friend, like, my undercap right now is around my bun. It has slipped off that much. And just for months last year, I was dealing with these. And I guess I want to say it because again, I bought them quite cheaply online. So you, they're kind of cheap, but then by the time you've bought a few, it's not that cheap anymore. You're buying products that you don't need. So I just kind of want to show you, I guess I wanted to warn you of these ones and how hard it is to find a good undercap that doesn't slip back. But then I also wanted to say that because the undercaps that I use right now, I am very, very happy with. So I guess I wanted to show you the journey of how I've had bad undercaps before finding some really good ones. And these ones are from Duck. So right now I have on the cream, I think this is like the nude color. Yeah, I'll link it below. And then I've also got the black one here. And this is basically just like a full, <laughs> cap um, it doesn't doesn't have any of the ties at the back you literally just put it on around the back of the bun 
and then pull it to the front. And obviously right now I've got mine a little bit further back, um, but that's just because where, where I placed it. If you wanna put it further to your um, forehead line, then you can. And honestly, I can wear this all day for a full, full day out. And so I just wanna say this because I just absolutely love them so much. And this is one of the reasons why I want to try and make this video because I wish that I had heard someone talk about these earlier. Now, again, things like this, these caps, I'm not too sure of the price, to be honest, on top of my head. I didn't do that much research before starting this video. Um, um, they are a little bit more expensive than a pack of three that you're going to get on Amazon for, you know, five pounds. But the good thing about buying from, you know, these slightly bigger companies like Duck and Holt Hijab is that, you know, you can order them. And if you don't get on well with them, you can send them back. I actually spent quite a lot of money on a silk um, undercap from Holt Hijab. I think it was about 40 pounds. I was like, wow, that is expensive. But again, if you're wearing them pretty much every day, cost per wear, you know, it's not that much. And if it's good, then I was like, then it's fine. As soon as I even put it on, I still kept the tags on, I just tried it on, you know, it just slipped back. I just wore it around the house for like an hour or something and it was just, it slipped back. But I was like, at least then I can send it back to them and that's not a problem. Whereas obviously I am always do uh, try to say, obviously shop small businesses, small Muslim female businesses, um, especially with hijabs and stuff but then you do, often you can't do return. So it does just something to think about as well if you are in the stages of um, working out, you know, what hijab suit you and just trying out different products is that, you know, check the returns policy. Can you try it on at home? Is it what you wanted? If not, then send it back. And unlike the scrunchies where I said you don't really need two colors, you know, I do really, really benefit from having at least two different color um, undercaps that kind of go with everything. So I think a black is definitely a must for those black scarves. You're gonna wear a black scarf and the darker hijabs. But to be honest, most of the time you will see me literally in this um, cream colored under scarf because it just goes with all of the colored scarves that I like. And I think it goes with my skin tone and everything as well. Now, one final one from Duck, which is also really, really good. I don't get on with it as well, um, but I have seen other people wear it. It's their pointer under cap. So this has got the strings at the back, which again, you've got this all this big space to put your bun in. Um, I actually saw Vivi, the Duck, um, founder wear it and it basically does put a really really nice point in here um, and then comes down i think for me because my i haven't got as much that much of a big forehead my hairline is quite close if i put the point here then it covers quite a lot of my face um, and i don't really want to put the point at the back because i think that looks a bit silly with just a point of hair showing but she had all of her hair covered and she created this really really lovely shape um, of her face using the point so i think if you have got a slightly longer forehead or your hairline is a little bit further back and you want to create that shape um, that slightly more like slimming shape then this is really, really good. And, um, you know, yeah, it's also the duck. They're really good quality as well. I've washed them quite a bit. Um, and yeah, that's basically, these are the only undercaps that I'm gonna be using unless I find something new. If I do find something better, then I'll tell you. Um, but right now I'm just gonna keep using these. And if I need some more, I'm just gonna shop from there. Okay, so moving on to hijabs. I recently tidied all of these up. So I use these. First off, I actually got these from uh, Ikea, which I think is a great way to store the hijabs just in my wardrobe um, and a great way to see them all. The only thing is, is that, you know, like I washed and ironed these the other day, but then as soon as you put them back on here, you might as well have not have ironed them. Um, but apart from, I don't know, it's so hard to find a hijab storing solution. I also have a second one here and I basically kind of arranged them like the hijabs that I wear on the day-to-day -day basis versus the ones I maybe just wear in the evening or not as often. Um, and that's really what I wanna go through because you will see here, probably can't really see on, on the camera, but a lot of these are jersey material. And that is because I much prefer wearing jersey. Now, I am extremely jealous of the ladies who I see who just wear like, a chiffon hijab just day to day when I've met my friends and they're for brunch or lunch shopping and they're just wearing a chiffon hijab just very loosely and elegantly. I'm very jealous because I am not there yet with chiffon. I find chiffon so hard to keep on, which is why I do wear a lot of jersey. So again, this isn't necessarily that these are the best hijabs. It's just that for like a newbie hijabi, this is how 
I've got on with hijab so far <laughs> and I've found that jersey has been a real um, lifesaver for me. Okay, I'm down on the floor now. Maybe we can see the hijabs a bit better. So I'm just going to go through a couple. You're probably going to recognize quite a few of them if you do follow me on Instagram because I do tend to, I found, I think this is quite common, you find a hijab that you like and like with clothing, you just wear it and wear it and wear it all the time. <laughs> um, and that is leads me quite well onto this one. This is the Swan Lake Jersey Hijab by Duck. I have worn this a lot. I wore it all the end of winter um, and spring. I absolutely love the material of this jersey and I just love the colour and again touching on that as well, this has become quite a waffly video but um, you know I last year I thought that you know I'd probably stick to beige beige coloured hijabs and brown hijabs and I didn't even think black because you know I'm quite fair obviously my hair is brunette as well so you know having a black hijab like for me I do wear black hijabs but I do have to usually be a bit more dressed up have more makeup on like I can't go out in a black hijab um, with no makeup on because I literally look like I'm dead. Um, but I thought that I would stick to the beige colors or the browns, but actually beige without her makeup also makes me look like I'm dead. Um, and I actually found, you know, this summer that I really enjoyed wearing colored hijabs, which I didn't expect at all. I mean, if you told me this time last year that I would have, you know, like this kind of like swan duck blue hijab. I've got a purple here that I wear all the time. I've got the pink here as well. I mean, in here I've got um, like this really, really lovely green, another kind of pink, a bright red, um, this, these lilac ones, um, I know, wait, this lilac one that I wore at the time, I wore this a lot in Abu Dhabi actually, if you saw my Abu Dhabi vlog, if you're watching this and you're new hijabi thinking like trying to work out what works on you, you know, do get some colours as well because I never would have thought the colours would actually suit me better than the beige colours. So yeah, so this duck one I absolutely love, the jersey and the same with this, you know, I literally just, I've got a tutorial tutorial actually of what I did with this one um, which I will link below that I put on my Instagram you know I literally just kind of put them over like this actually this really makes me realize we missed out on accessory I'll touch on that in a minute um, put it over like this um, put a magnet in here and then just put it over like this. And this is basically what I do for all of my jersey hijab. So whilst I just mentioned the uh, magnetic pin, you'll see here I've got the magnet, which is one of these. This is actually from Sarabi. I have their set, which is a gold and also this gray, and their magnets are really, really good. Again, it is quite easy, I have found, to get magnets that aren't actually that magnetic. I mean, this is actually really strong. I'm trying to pull this apart right now. You know, I have bought hijab magnets online as well, and they just haven't been that strong. And I'm like, this is supposed to hold in, you know, all this material all day. So definitely look for a strong magnet. I'm going to leave the Sarabi um, link below because I love theirs. And for me, you know, most days I just put one magnet in here. Um, sometimes if I'm going out or maybe with the chiffon, I put one in here just so that this doesn't you know this bit doesn't always just if it does flick forward it doesn't you know come forward at the neck there's nothing worse than yeah when you realize that your whole hijab is like hanging from your neck um i think you know for me as a process i do need to start using pins more i actually do have pins here Yes, a friend of mine did, oh gosh, yeah, they are the broken because they broke in my suit bag, um, suitcase bag, this plastic, um, bought me these pins. But to be honest, I just haven't really got on with the pins. Like when I put them in here, I just feel like I've got little like mini horns in my <laughs> head. Um, I try to put them in here, but it just doesn't really work. So for me, this is something that I do, do still need to practice. And I think that is why I'm not getting on very well with um, chiffon hijabs. But again, wanted to kind of make this video from like a basic point of view. And I do feel like from my experience, um, when it comes to basic hijab wearing, new hijab wearing, when you have no one around you to help you put a hijab on and teach you what to do, um, magnets are really, really good. So definitely check those out. A few more hijabs I have are from LA Hijab Official. I'm actually gonna probably maybe put like a screenshot or something. If you're in the UK, well, if you're in the UK, you're gonna be able to get all of these that I mentioned because they're all in the UK. If you're not, then it is a little bit harder, I'm sorry. Um, but I really love her hijabs. Again, this is when I kind of just took a chance, I guess, on a small business. You know, she does, I just pay her via her bank account on DMs, um, but her hijabs are really good. So this is one of them that I've got. Um, and then I have a few of her chiffon as well, ones as well. So this is one of her um, chiffons in a really, really lovely plum color. And then also a kind of more 
purpley colour. This one is also a jersey material, but unlike the kind of um, this duck jersey material, it is much lighter. So for me, this one is a really nice um, jersey material to wear in the spring. So I definitely, um, you know, I wear this all the time and perhaps would love to see what other colours she has got as well. Yeah, that was it. She also sells these ribbed hijabs, um, which I also like a lot. They are a lot thicker. Um, Abdia, you'll know Abdia if you follow me on here and Instagram. Um, she actually managed to put this as a turban, which looked really, really good. The cream one here as well. And again, this material is good for me because it does just um, sit quite well and it doesn't really fall off. So again, like I'm not, I didn't really know what I was going to do in this video. Was I going to try and put like a zillion hijabs on my head? I'm not. Obviously, I look ridiculous. Um, but just to give you an idea that it does kind of sit well. Um, it is a little bit thicker. Again, I wore this a bit last summer. It's a little bit hot for summer. Um, but it can go up well, quite well in a turban as well. Yeah, and then this one is also actually, this one is the same um, from the same lady, LA Hijab Official. Actually, this is the exact same material. Yes, is this pink one. Um, you'll see I wear this one a lot. Actually, I wore this one a lot last autumn. Really nice. Actually, I 100% recommend getting in touch with her um, if you're looking for some good um, jersey hijabs that are not too expensive. But then for me, I also have looked out with a few just random. I think I got this one on Etsy. Um, I wasn't aware of the brand. They don't really do that much on social media. Um, just a really nice navy. And again, in terms of like finding colors or buying a hijab that's a color that will go with everything. Um, I do find um, navy really, really nice. Actually, I wore navy recently on my stories at the start of Ramadan and quite a few people were like, wow, navy looks so good on you. And I had this conversation with someone else who was a Reba and I said, yeah, you know, for me, like I said before, black, can just really, really drain me. You know, I have to be kind of dressed up a little bit more, a bit more makeup to be able to wear black um, confidently. Whereas navy is a lot better for me. And I find that, you know, I'm really just like navy on me just generally, like a navy jumper. Um, so, you know, for me as kind of like a lighter skinned person, um, navy's really, really worked for me and I really like it. I think it looks really nice. So definitely, uh, I don't know where I necessarily got this one from. I'll try and link it below. This one here is also from Sarah B. Um, she does a lot of instant hijabs, which is how we both kind of connected online. She sent me a few of her instant hijabs and she's actually um, created a different, a kind of new uh, instant hijab recently. And basically this has the um, undercap attached. It's only very attached, as you can see, by a very, very small amounts. But it is just, it feels a lot safer to wear. Um, again, especially if you are a new hijab wearer. You can just put that over your bun, kind of put that on top, and then you can just kind of style it then. Oh, I'm not really doing a very good job. Yeah, like around your neck like this, as I kind of have on now, but you do know that that piece of chiffon is attached and just, I still put a, like a magnet in at the bottom, definitely, um, but it just kind of saves you putting a pin in at the top, which kind of sounds like, you know, a pin at the top is nothing, but when you are really not used to using pins, honestly, it is much, much easier to use. She also has some other instant hijabs, which are more attached all the way around here. Um, I do have some, I, can't, I think it's in my, my drawer right now. I haven't used it for a while, but for that, when I first started going to the mosque and, you know, I just felt that my, my hijab just kept slipping back and obviously I didn't want to have that to happen when I was in the mosque. Um, I just used to put on one of her instant hijabs because they're, the scarf and the cap are attached like right at the front. You can pull them to the front really easily. They don't slip back um, and it's just a really, really practical hijab to wear to the mosque and know that you're not gonna have any hair showing. So I'll link that below as well. And then finally, just on this um, hijab rail, um, like I said, you will see that I wore this hijab in um, Abu Dhabi recently a lot as you can see because it is quite opaque um, but it is extremely extremely light I'm gonna link her website I don't think she does much on Instagram but she's based in like Bradford I think and I got this for like seven pounds I also got um, a slightly darker brown color which again it doesn't actually it does go with me but I actually way prefer the purple which again if you told me that this time last year I would have been like you're crazy um, but there we go. <laughs> so this one is super, super light, like for wearing in Abu Dhabi, it was amazing. Um, you know, for this, again, you definitely need to have the undercap because otherwise it is going to slip. And also it is quite opaque. So you can see the undercap through it a little bit, 
but um, I don't know, I'm fine with that. And you know, for the lightness of it in the summer in a hot country, it is so perfect. So now let's just switch these over. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go through as many here, but these are basically my chiffon, more chiffon hijabs. Two that I definitely wanna talk about are from my friend's business, which is Banafsha Modest Wear. I will tag her below, and here's a picture of her account as well. Um, she gifted me this lovely, lovely hijab. It is called the Ultra Light, and I wore it actually on my niqab. And you can see it's just got some really, really beautiful um, lines through there. And she does it in a few different colors. And again, it is a little bit opaque. Um, actually, it's very opaque, <laughs> but it's what you want in the summer. You want a light material. It is really, really, really pretty. Again, I look ridiculous because I've got like two hijabs on, but. Um, yeah, like you can kind of still see it. Like this side, it is a really, really, really pretty color, really light. Also, again, you know, you just need a um, magnet or something here because it's not a slippy material. It's not gonna slip back as long as you have got a undercap underneath. And you do need an undercap underneath because it is really, really opaque. And then another one I have from her, this is called, this is from her Lace Edit range. And it is so, so pretty. It has this really nice, lace detailing um, on the end but it's not all the way around it's just around like three sides and again this is a really good example because she um, I got this from her last year um, my friend Abdiya wore it once with a turban and she had all the like kind of lace around her face and it looks really pretty and when I tried that we were kind of without a turban just with an undercap you know I just looked oh I'm not gonna do it I just looked completely ridiculous I didn't like how I looked at all and so I just didn't wear it for ages. And then I felt really bad because I'm like, she's my friend, I haven't worn it. Um, and then just the other week, I just put it on and I just did it like how I normally do it. And I thought, you know, I don't have to do the lace, you know, at the front. I don't know why I had thought about that for so long. You know, and now I don't have the lace around my head, um, but I do just have it here and it just is really, really pretty. And again, it sits on really well because although it is more of like a shinier material, it isn't a slippy material. So with a um, underscarf, it sits really, really well. So again, um, yeah, I will link that below if you're in the UK, then definitely check that out because it is super, super pretty. And then that kind of takes me on to a lot of the chiffon that I have. I have, like I said, I don't get on that well with chiffon, but I do have quite a few of them because I do really like them in the evening when you're going out. I think it's much nicer to be able to wear a chiffon with like a long dress. All of these three chiffon are from Duck. Um, again, a really nice navy. I just felt that I wore the navy um, jersey hijab quite a lot. So I thought that I would get a navy in um, chiffon as well. Um, and then again, this kind of sage green is just absolutely lovely. Okay, so whilst we're talking about wearing chiffon, I thought, you know what, I better not actually put a chiffon hijab on. So what I do with my chiffon hijabs not that this is a hijab tutorial at all um i just do the same i literally just fold it over a little bit obviously you then can sometimes get this nice kind of little um pointer here do it a um, magnet here and then put it over like this and i think for me i do need to learn yeah to put like a in the past recently I have put you know some pins in here which definitely helps because I do find that the chiffon just tips back a lot um, and you know if you are like bending down or something it is much more likely to slip down. I am going to try and work on um, my styling and search some YouTube tutorials or something like that. But I guess what I also wanted to say on the terms of chiffon you know is that again it does just take time to kind of find some different options because recently um, I also have this one from Duck, so yeah, you can tell I've, obviously I have been working with Duck recently, but I do genuinely love their products, and literally they wouldn't be in this video if I didn't, but this one is a much lighter material, I guess it is chiffon, it's chiffon as well, but it's a different chiffon material, and recently, you know, I have come across, yeah, materials that I guess you'd call them all chiffon, but some are a bit lighter, like the other ones that I said from... Um, LA hijabs. Gosh, it's going to take me so long to go through all of these um, hijabs. <laughs> um, you know, this is a much thicker material. This one's a little bit lighter. This one is even lighter. Um, this one I feel like I'm definitely going to be wearing a lot in the summer and it has this really lovely um, lace embroidery as well. It's actually quite new on their website if you want to check that out. And they've got quite a few different colours. But then also, I, again, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been wearing a lot of um, Abayas by literally the companies 
is by Shakila, and she's been sending me when you buy a, you know, buy a from her she sends you a matching scarf um, and these are the matching scarves I have because I've got four buyers from her so I have like a pink one, a purple one, a green one and a black one which is all the colours of the buyers that I have um, but again this is a different material that I hadn't actually had in my you know hijab stash until recently um, again it's I don't know really what this material is. I'm not very good with materials, if I'm honest. Um, but it's a lot more kind of like silky. But again, it kind of feels like it sits better. So I guess again, from this video, as well as kind of telling you like what hijabs I do like, which obviously the jersey, hopefully you go away from this. If you are a newbie hijabi thinking, jersey is definitely a good one. Again, I look ridiculous, but whatever. Um, but this is much lighter material, but it, I also really like it. So it is still important just to try and, yeah, just try and try a few different materials. Like I'd never really come across this material in hijab until very recently. And now I'm like, wow, that's actually really, really handy because it's light. Again, going into the summer months now, you know, I do want to be having light material. Um, hijab materials otherwise you know it's just going to be so so hard um but you want it to be light but also to be able to actually not fly off your head because although it's hot it can still be very very windy here um so yeah that is all about my trial and error and then um i guess then we could touch on these two lovely lovely hijabs as well also from duck these are silk um i guess we'll touch on the silk point because well they're kind of like silk satin um, if you are a newbie hijabi, I mean, silk is very, very difficult. And I think, again, maybe a point that I would like to share on this video is that, you know, if you have, you know, you don't have that many hijabs, but you happen to have a um, chiffon or a silk, maybe someone's gifted you it, or you just went into a shop and bought one, and now you're not getting on very well with it because you can't keep it on, then definitely just like see what material it is. Because I actually have a friend She's over in Indonesia right now. This made me think of it because it is quite, this is like Malaysian Indonesian um, design, you know, and she's like, oh my, you know, she's wearing either a really thick hijab over in Indonesia and she's like, it's just so hot. And I'm like, yeah, because it's like wool. Like, why are you wearing a wool hijab? Because that's all that she could get. Or, you know, she was gifted like something a bit lighter like this. Um, but, you know, it's not staying on her. And I'm like, yeah, unless you've got like with the silk ones, these silk satin ones, unless you've got like as a lot of pins in them, you know, they're not going to stay on, um, which is fine. It's fine to put all the pins in and keep them on. But like if you're a newbie hijabi and you are not getting on well with it, it may just be because of the material. And I think that it's just so horrible to think that maybe you might be like put off wearing hijab or just have a really bad experience wearing hijab just because the material is like a more like a pro level hijab wearing <laughs> material, if you know what I mean. So yeah, like I said to her, like, yeah, you're not gonna get on with like a silk hijab because you have no idea how to style one, neither do I. Um, so yeah, so like this one, it's so, so pretty. I can wear it like, Maybe if I'm just going out for dinner, I'm going to sit in one place like with, you know, a magnet here and maybe a magnet here. Um, but in order to really wear it, you know, you do have to work out. You do have to learn how to actually style it. Um, and it's not the best kind of newbie material. But I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I keep looking at myself in the camera in it. So I now have a pile of hijabs <laughs> on my floor, which is totally, totally fine. I will clear them up um, and I'm glad that I can make this video. And like I said, I'm gonna leave everything um, linked below. As you can see now, I'm like moving this because I'm not really keen of how it's how it, how it sits already and I've only had it on for like five, five minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've got any good hijab tutorials, feel free to send them through to me on Instagram, definitely. Um, but I hope this video has helped you. I hope that just my trial and error of hijabs and accessories over the last year or so, um, again, look, oh gosh, <laughs> um, has helped you and I guess also I wanted to make this video because you know if I think back to last Ramadan like I said you know I really wasn't wearing hijab I wanted to start wearing it more but also I would put it on I didn't like how it looked on me I felt it looked so so different like when I did put it on I couldn't keep it on it was blowing back it was tipping back you know and it was just a bit like just really really annoying and it is then very very easy to associate hijab with being annoying. Um, if, like I said, you haven't got the right hijab, you haven't got the right accessories, you know, 
I remember where even when I was in Istanbul and I kind of started to realize like what goes into wearing a hijab and I just thought wow you know for me I did honestly think like you know wearing a hijab is just you just put a scarf on your head right you just tie your hair up in a bun and put a scarf on your head but it is so much more than that there are so many different colors different materials like different accessories like I said you know I think that we don't want hijab to become like this consumer thing but to be honest it, it is a consumer thing like you know you need to have certain things in order to actually wear hijabs and you know alhamdulillah like I said I get sent quite a lot of things um, and I have the finances to be able to buy my own hijabs and to trial them um, but you know some people don't have that as well and I think if you're in that position as well then definitely you know take it easy on yourself because it is hard you do need to actually trial to find out what's um, working for you but I hope that what I've shared has helped you do let me know in the comments and also come over to Instagram and let me know um, I'm a lot more active on there as you may have noticed so thank you very much for watching assalamu alaikum and take care and I will see you soon inshallah